you're going to find that your blog posts look a lot more interesting if you include photos. So let's include a photo in our blog post, the one that we just, we just wrote a simple blog post. And let's add a photo. Now there's a lot of stock photography websites you can go to. You can search on Google and you can find free stock photography. But I've been using iStock Photo for quite a while. They charge for the photos you want to use. You pay them one fee and then you can use it on your website. You can see that the rates that they have here, the good thing is most of the time for my website I just like to use um, some very basic photos that are extra small and I can usually get them for a dollar. Let's see, this videos for photos, usually they cost me a dollar a piece. So I'll deposit like 10 bucks at a time and it'll be for my next 10 photos. Let me log in here and let me show you what I mean. So I'm doing something about coaching. So let's just get, let's do a search for something about coaching. And you'll see it's also searching for a flash in the video. As I expected, it's showing me a lot of sports photos. Well, I could take something like this. I wonder if they have anything about business coaching. Any photos that would be business coaching. Oh, they do have some that they consider like business coaching. And we do a search and then you can see um, the different choices. Here we have different photos that we could possibly use. So maybe I'll decide that since we're talking about photo, we're going to have a crowd, we're going to have lots of clients. Maybe this one will be a good example because you can see there's a lot of people in the room. Teacher in front of the class. So let's say I wanted to use this photo. What I always try to get is I try to get a photo that somehow represents the major subject or is an attention grabbing in one way or another. So we see here's a photo and since I'd want an extra small version it would only cost me one credit for this so basically it would cost me a buck to buy this. I would buy this photo and then I could upload it to my website. And basically if I click on buy I'm going to be able to download the photo. But let me show you um, one of the photos I already have on my system that we can upload to the website. Now to add the photo into our blog, all we have to do is we go to the post that we want to edit and we're going to click on the photo button. I'm going to add an image and right here it's going to allow us to upload it to our files. I'm going to choose a picture of me and my wife. So there's the photo, the title, I'm going to call it Terry and Julie. Um, for a caption, let's call it um, I'm more while working less, you can give it a description, uh, link URL where you want to link to. Let's say I want to link it to my main page, for example. You can choose the size where you want to align it. Well, I want to align it to the right. And I'm going to have it full size here. And I want to insert it into the post. Okay, you can see it even added a caption at the bottom. This one already had some text on it, but it added another caption to it. And let's actually do a preview of this. If we go to preview, we'll see how I added it here to the right. Very, very easy to add photos into WordPress. And as you've seen, I could have put whatever options I wanted onto it. But if you can do the same thing with audio and video, although usually for audio and video, I'll upload it separately. As I said, video to video sites, and then I'll embed it in here. But you can see photos are really easy to, to add, and there's no reason you shouldn't be adding photos. You can use a site like iStock Photo, where you're paying a buck a piece, or you can search on Google for the free, royalty free um, photos, and you can find some free photo sites to use as well. And there's a lot of photos out there, and you'll see that you'll add a lot of um, value to your posts and grab teach people's attentions better. And the rule here is always, always add a caption for every photo because that's where people's eyes will go. They'll read your headline, then they'll look at your photos and see the captions. So that's how you add a photo to your posts.